If you've ever heard of New Zealand, it's probably as the tourist centre of the South Pacific. It's quite true, of course. Tourists come from all over the world to see this country's spectacular attractions. It's well worth the trip just to see these mud pools in the thermal area of Rotorua, for instance. We've got mountains galore in both islands, even the occasional volcano. And in the South Island, the Southern Alps are ideal for seeing or skiing. You may also have heard that we're the world's largest farm. Again, this is true. 60 million sheep outnumber the people 20 to 1. The lush green grass that clothes New Zealand is our biggest asset. Our favourable climate means that stock can graze outside all year round. Our dairy industry literally churns out millions of pounds weight every year of butter, cheese and milk powder for the markets of the world. The quality of our agricultural products has always been acknowledged. But did you know that we now have an important secondary industry as well? The high standard of living in New Zealand has led to a great demand for more and more consumer products and the industry to provide them. no large deposits of the important basic metals, so much of the raw material for our industry has to be imported. We've learned to market skill, quality and craftsmanship as we move our industrial products into competition on world markets. New Zealand industry is particularly kind to the housewife in her kitchen. When she prepares the family's roast dinner, a leg of prime Canterbury lamb, of course, she prepares it in New Zealand-made hardware and puts it into a New Zealand-made electric oven that is designed to save valuable floor space. We haven't taken the torture out of preparing onions, but cooking them to perfection in a well-designed electric fry pan will make the tears seem worthwhile. When she goes to her fridge-freezer combination, which also saves valuable space by keeping its feet off the floor, she can choose from one of the 70 different kinds of frozen foods prepared in this country. The quality is sealed in until needed, whether at home or abroad. A pity to put it all in the sauce, for very palatable wines are now made in New Zealand. And so are the wine glasses, soap, plumbing, and the kitchen sink. The paper, tiles, bath, baby and potty were all made here, and all, with one exception, are being exported. Thousands of housewives use thousands of New Zealand-made vacuum cleaners to clean thousands of acres of New Zealand-made wall-to-wall carpet in thousands of homes every day. There's a design to suit everybody's taste, and no matter which one you choose, they are all loomed to last for only the most rugged wool and fastest dyes are used for export quality broadlooms that are world famous. Our textile industry weaves synthetics as well as woolen goods. Though our first loyalty goes to wool, we're more than tolerant of the newer man-made fibers. Yard upon yard of them go into furnishings and fabrics. When New Zealand women go shopping, they expect quality, craftsmanship and good design, no matter what the material or the product. Trade buyers overseas can have their choice of the raw wool, woven cloth or the finished fashions. Tourists coming to New Zealand and seeking something unusual in jewellery are fascinated by our power. It comes from a shellfish found only around our coasts. When polished, it reveals all its hidden beauty. It fascinates not only the tourists, but their friends back home as well. The New Zealand dad has his help towards easier living too, of course. Where else would you expect to find such intelligent machines except in a country with the highest rate of grass growth in the world? What the householder keeps busily trimming, the farmer keeps busily encouraging. New Zealand-built Fletcher planes are excellent for spraying, dusting and top dressing, but their manoeuvrability and agility are useful anywhere a light plane is needed for business or pleasure. Not a pancake factory, but Crown Lynn Potteries.
Although mass production techniques reduce the time and increase the quantity of manufacture for export, there's still a place for individual craftsmanship. New Zealand-made glassware can be trusted to protect the most valuable of contents. Plastics. They are blown, extruded, moulded and squeezed. Easily made, they are easily expendable. Either she's pretty strong, or that container's pretty flexible. And look at the space it saves in storage. Meanwhile, let's look what's coming out of the oven. Hey presto, instant women. Not as good as the real thing, if you want to be sentimental about it. But they don't get tired, don't need time off to repair their makeup, don't complain about working conditions, and they cost you a lot less than real live dolls. This New Zealand made outboard motor isn't really hard to start, it's just that we get a better picture if we pretend it is. We'll throw in a New Zealand made bikini with every order. We can guarantee to fill the orders, but not the bikinis. Where rivers are shallow or there are patches of shingles, sandbars or hidden snags, Hamilton jet boats treat these hazards with disdainful indifference. Water is sucked in and jetted out with such a tremendous thrust that jet boats easily reach 40 miles an hour over all kinds of water with excellent maneuverability. These New Zealand boats are now already jetting up rivers in New Guinea, America and Thailand. You can have one too, if you're quick. The jet boat is only one of many New Zealand products that are being exported to world markets. The variety is enormous, but in all of them, the quality is guaranteed, can be taken for granted, and is included free.